we were told that the Cambodians had captured a U.S. flagged ship and that the crew was somewhere on this island and that we were being sent to the island to rescue the crew of the SS Maiguez. We'd be home by noon. That They expected very light resistance. I was on the first helicopter coming in and immediately, because um, we were supposed to be, this is a surprise attack, but as soon as the helicopter committed to hover, um, they opened up on it and they were just slicing it up to, to nothing. And um, we got off and the helicopter made it you know, five, six hundred yards off and then sat down on the water and sank because um, it was shot up so bad. Everybody on my helicopter were a complete boot camp, you know, just straight out of boot camp. Well, anybody that says they weren't scared was is lying. I mean, it was, yeah, it was pretty gnarly, um, especially the amount of fire. Well, the last 41 names on the Vietnam Wall are all from that mission. Um, the bulk of the people were killed in the helicopters coming in or, or going out. On the very last helicopter going out, on the way to the helicopter, a grenade or a mortar or something landed right in front of me. And I took a shrapnel and the leg and this hand. They made the decision to get us off the island. So we had been up for 30 some hours already by the time we got to the island. And so we were already pretty whipped. And then to the, the emotions that you go through, the adrenaline that gets to pumping, um, at, at the end of the day, it, we were pretty whipped. And, and it was well over 100 degrees, so I mean, so your full armor and pack and everything else, and then that hot, and uh, we didn't have enough water, we didn't have enough ammo, we didn't have enough anything, because we weren't expecting to be there that long. Looking back on it more than 40 years later, would you say that's probably the longest 14 hours of your life? Oh, without doubt. Uh, the most intense uh, and the longest, yeah.